All right, check it out. Yay for me, I got a new truck. So the best part is you get a bunch of people say congratulations, and then you get a bunch of people that give you their fucking opinion on why you should buy this or that or the other thing. And and listen, opinions like assholes. You, you all got one, they all fucking stink. Here is my reasoning on why I settled on the truck I settled on. So I had the 2020 Denali. I bought the 2020 Denali because I had good ground clearance for here up here in North Dakota and get snow and mud and everything else. It was a very comfortable truck. I have a 2019 3500 Denali, which I still have that is freaking amazingly comfortable. And then I had the 2020, that was a three quarter ton. So I was looking, I knew I wanted to get a new truck. I put about 75,000 miles a year on a truck and they idle like a son of a bitch, and I sit in them a long time. I do all my work, all my business is basically done with my ass in the seat of this truck. So comfort is all I care about. I don't give a fuck about the motor. I don't give a fuck about the tranny. If I need to haul something, I own goddamn semi-trucks. If I need to pull something, I, I got a, uh, trucks. I got everything I need. If I get to haul whatever at home, I got a one ton. All I give a fuck about is comfort. So I drove the new Denali's. The new Denali's, the seats aren't as comfortable. They seem to like to make these really, really hard on that edge and it digs into my side and I don't really like it. So I was like, okay, so let's go try some other trucks. And I drove the Ford. The Ford, the seats were a little more comfortable, but it rode like a fucking buckboard. And I didn't want a 15, I didn't want a half ton. I wanted a three quarter ton or bigger. So then we went to the Dodges. So I drove the Big Horns, I drove the Laramies, I drove them all. They were all the, the I, listen, I have a belly and I got a ball sack. So I like to be able to spread my legs. When I got into the Laramie, this was, it was 20, uh, it was really tight. It didn't have the room to open my legs up like this truck did. So I drove the, the Laramie, I drove the Bighorn. I didn't like them. The seats were a little, same thing, digging into my side. So the sales lady says, hey, and I, listen, let's, let's go test out this Rocky Ridge uh, 1500. I said, I didn't want a 1500. She's like, oh, let's go look at it. It's jacked up. It's got a four inch lift kit. So they take a standard Dodge. They send it into uh, Rocky Ridge. Rocky Ridge shacks it up, upgrades the brakes, upgrades the tires, upgrades the seats, puts the diamond stitch seats in it and everything else and upgrades everything. I got into it. It's fucking amazing. It is so comfortable. It rides nice, even though it's lifted. So I got all that. I don't need to buy a 2,500 or 30. I own fucking semis if I want to haul shit. My Denali, like I said, it was a good truck, but guess what? This truck is the most comfortable truck, and I've fucking driven a lot of them in the last 60 days. This is the most comfortable truck I sat my ass in. I got a 100,000 mile warranty on it. If it needs a fucking tranny, I'll go get a fucking tranny. If it blows the motor, I'll go get a fucking motor. My ass is going to be comfortable. I got them for three windshields a year, which is huge if you work in North Dakota. You'll understand that. So that's it. As far as any of your other opinions, I don't give a fuck, dude. Bust your ass, go buy the truck that fits you and your needs. Till then, zip it. See ya.